we are going to be making brand new button coil enclosures. I got a little bit, a teeny bit of a hay. Just put it on the ground here just to mix it up so it's not just that aspen. You guys need to pay attention. Help me count how many button coils are here. Oh. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. One of my prettiest ones right here. So now we gotta close the door and right there. They are cute. That is really cute. Bye guys. What is going on everybody? Today we are going to be making brand new button coil enclosure. So we got two cages right here. We're gonna set them up, make them beautiful and design them. We're gonna get the quails and put them here today as well. So uh, let's get going on these enclosures and let's do it. So it's a rainy day outside. So today was the day I decided to do this button quail enclosure because we're gonna be able to stay out of the weather because we're in underneath different spots. Right here we have shavings, we have these tubes, we have bowls, we have all different types of things getting ready to prep this enclosure. This whole area is just, people might think it's like a trash area, but it's not. It's just a bunch of mis how do you say that? Miscellaneous. Yeah, that. Of just stuff that I could use for enclosures, for everything. So I just keep everything here right now until we figure out what we're doing here. But right now we have a bunch of little things right here, and we're going to bring it all to the uh, area where the quails are going to go. We're going to set them all up, and then we're going to get a little bit of branches and just make it a really cool little uh, enclosure for these guys. Remember, these are Japanese button quail. We have bamboo so we're gonna go get some bamboo as well and put some in there but let's get this done and then let's keep on moving all right so we have some of the soft pine bedding right here and we're just gonna pour a good amount inside of here as they're bedding but as well as i'm gonna put a couple bowls in here well probably just one bowl that's something like this right here and that's gonna be filled with sand because they like to go in sand and make sand baths and pretty much eat the sand and grind up their food a lot of birds like to do that the ground birds i've seen that so we're gonna do this both sides so we're gonna make two identical cages pretty much and have two separate groups of button quails. So we're gonna probably do like one group lighter and one group uh, darker. That'd be pretty cool. These areas, the word tortoise pins, and they can go in there and hide underneath there if they want to, and then they have this whole complete open area. It's pretty dope little enclosure. Decent for our small group of button quails. That's why we're dividing it up. Put all this up. Because the problem is I don't want to put them underneath in birds, too many birds right now, because I want to make sure I have strong, giant colonies before I start um, putting them in other enclosures. Let me spread all this around. So we're gonna need more for sure. Only that much left. It's the point of keeping that. Very cheap bag, so mix it up one more and that's it. Get rid of that bag and get another bag another day. All right, cool, all done. So these are gonna be my food bowls. I'm gonna keep one big bowl right there and then one big bowl right there so they can jump inside of there and eat their food. We gotta clean these bowls out because they're dirty from chickens and stuff. But I use these for turtles, little dishes. We put one just like that and then the other one just like that as well. But that definitely has to get cleaned out before we put water in there. So we have food, water, food, water. Now rocks, oh, look at this, pretty dope. So I kept this because it was from one of the ponds that we were building, it was from like the rubber mattings. And I was like, huh, it's a nice um, cardboard box. Pretty dope, I can probably use it for the future for something for birds, anything, just like an enrichment, whatever. But this would actually, look at a solid circle through all the way. Cut them in half. I could put them inside on the long ways right here on both sides. And those could be little tunnels for the quails to run through. So why not? I got a little jigsaw, right? A little jigsaw thingy. And I'm gonna cut these guys in half. So uh, let's do that. Keep it like right about there. All right, so that is one tube right there. Perfect little tube right there. So put that back and they could just put that right there and there you go. It's a little tunnel they can run through. That's another spot for them to hide, lay eggs if they want to when they get more matured. Well, I got this little post. I'm just adding a bunch of little different things in there just so they can hide. Just little obstacles, you know what I mean? Have a little fun little enclosure. That right there, maybe one will jump on top of there and get a little higher view of something. Who knows? Everything's gonna be a little different. What else? Um, actually, we have cinder blocks as well. But maybe the cinder blocks are a little too big for this enclosure. What do you think, though? I think they're a little too big. Yeah. I got the cinder blocks. I used to use cinder blocks when I had them in aviaries, but for mm -hmm. here, I don't think I'm gonna use cinder blocks. I was thinking that, but just decided not to. They have all in there, they hide in there, and without a problem, 
and in there as well, both sides. So I have these as a plan B. I had these just sitting around the yard, and why not? One and one for each one so that they have little spots. So I would just put two in different corners. Another little spot. You think there or there? I kind of don't really like them. They don't look like natural. So I think I might, yeah, just, I might just hide it in there. Yeah. Hide it in here. And they could just use that as a hiding spot. Yeah. yeah, I think that's better. I don't want to really see them. All right, let's cut another one in these in half so we can put one over there. There you go. Got another other side right there. And we'll do the same thing on both of those right there. You know, they have little hiding spots. Pretty cool. Keep this as extra that goes back because it is cardboard. So after a while, if I'm pooping and peeing on it, it's probably going to get wet and nasty. So we'll probably definitely um, change it out if we needed to. That's cool. Add some little rocks in here for them. I got a bunch of little bricks over here as well. So got some little cinder blocks, some little bricks. Just add little bricks in here so they have little spots to jump on. Bring their nails down, file them down, because being on this, it's not going to be able to file down. So they're going to have really long nails, so they could run and climb on those things. And it'll just break up their nails really, really well. Okay. And I definitely want to go get some bamboo. We have a bunch of bamboo over there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to head over there. It's raining, so I'm not going to take you guys. And I'm going to go cut some bamboo and bring it back. And just have a couple branches in here so they can hide in here as well. And then get food, get water, clean these bowls out. And I think it's pretty much set. But I need to have a couple more little accessories I want to do. And uh, yeah, so let's do that. Look at that. We got some nice branches there. We can cut them up and place them all in there so they can run and jump and pass this up. nice and wet, but it's okay. When I was over there cutting the bamboo, I almost felt like a keeper that kept pandas. Pretty dope. Take that all the way in like that, and there you go. So let me just take that out because that has to get. Woo! That was a nice one right there. We're good. Same thing. Go like that, and they can run and hide and everything. That's a bunch of little hiding spots for them. And that, I mean, just that little branch right there. Not gonna lie, it made it look pretty dope. But we're gonna cut some more leaves off and just throw more leaves inside of here too. Because, like I said, they're from Japan, and I'm sure in the wild, sometime in their life, if they were in their natural habitat, they would come across some type of bamboo. So that would be pretty cool to have it with them. Let's cut some leaves off. Some leaves right there. And some more leaves. Put them at the entrance of the tube, so it's like a little hide spot to get in. I think that's pretty freaking dope. What do you guys think? Make sure you guys are giving this video a thumbs up. Oh, Dylan, you put a little thing in there? A little cactus. It's pretty dope. It's not gonna get that tall, but that's okay. <laughs> they can maybe peck at it or something. Let's go get them some food. Let's get them some fresh water. Get this all ready. And I actually have a little uh, transport cage that I used to have for a very, very long time for quails. When I used to keep quails inside my tack room. So I'm gonna grab that so we can move the quails from there to over here. So when you're holding them, they're very, very small. And they just like to shoot up off your hands and fly into the freaking sky. So we don't want that to happen today. It's very wet. It's not going to be fun to chase after these guys. So we're going to transport them very, very safely. Bring them over here. And then have nice, beautiful groups. We'll figure that out in just a few minutes. But let's get going. So just cleaning these things off real quick. Getting them nice and sparkly. So that. They're clean. That one is done. And this one just has a little bit of allergy in it, but that's really not bad at all. There you go. So let's grab some water, get the food, and then get the quails. So I got the water it's moving very slowly. I didn't grab a jug. I just, for some reason, did it like this. Yeah. But, okay. And we are in. There you go. They got a nice area of water that they're already big enough now, so I'm not worried about them drowning like what we were worried about the first couple of videos when they were hatched out. They're a lot larger now, and um, they look beautiful. They're actually already starting to call, and you can tell the difference with the males and the females a lot already. The males are the ones with the big bibs on them, and they sing very, very loudly. Pretty cool thing is, is uh, my parents' rooms right there, so we're going to have some nice uh, wake-up calls just like they have with everybody else, but <laughs> it's okay. All right, so they got the water. They say don't look at the bowl when you're moving a cup of water. You just... Look away. And right down. There you go. A little bit of leaves in there. 
pretty happy with it, not gonna lie, it looks pretty freaking dope. So, gotta get the food, put the food in each one of them, and then probably, I am definitely gonna do, I have sand in the back, I'm gonna get two little metal bowls and put them in the corners, so that there'll be a spot so they can jump in and play in the sand. Maybe I get that on video if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok or something, you guys can see those little clips. But uh, let's do that. I got a little bit, a teeny bit of a hay. Just put it on the ground here just to mix it up so it's not just that aspen. They can run on some grasses and stuff. Just wanna mix it up. Just make it everything for them, you know what I mean? Mix it all up. The more, the better. It cannot hurt. The happier they can be. And those Amazons are having a blast over there. Pretty dope. Cool. And the reason why I decided to put them in here too is because again, these guys are flyers. They take off. So these doors are a little bit on the bigger side, but we are safe because we are inside of a whole complete closed in enclosure, the patio. And if they fly out, there's nowhere for them to go. So then I could just capture them and bring them back in. So that's plus one as well. And uh, this is my little quail caption cage so look you have a little slide door right here you go like that they can go in they can't get out of that and then up top as well put them in there they can't get out of it pretty cool little design that people have made pretty dope and very very shallow so the quails can't move like crazy and hurt themselves but let's go with the quails so it's a little loud we're underneath the turtle area and the metal is raining you guys know we have our little transport cage right here we can slide the door right here while we capture the quails and put them inside of here there are chickens in here too bantams but they're not coming with us only the button quail they still have a light because some of the chicks are very small and they don't have a mother to stay warm but uh, we're going to capture all the quails what i need you guys right now is to help me pay attention you guys need to pay attention help me count how many button quails are here i don't really remember how many i have in here to be honest so we're going to count right now while i capture them do Every single time you see me take a hand out, I'm gonna be able to capture one at a time. We're gonna put them in there. So, get ready to start counting. This is three right there. Ugh. Nice male. You guys better be counting, because I already forgot to be honest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What happened? Pull out. Pull out. Oh, for real? So like you just saw, a freaking quail took off flying. There was one little crack inside of this container and I had no idea. So we have a little bit of this right here. We're gonna lift this up, bring it to the side. Look at that, that little teeny hole. They flew out of that. I guess that was from a mouse or something from before. And I'm gonna um, zip tie that right now so we don't have any more problems transporting these guys. That was definitely a scare, but like I said, they are fast. Patch the hole. We're nice and good, holes covered up, so now we can keep on going. So we have five inside of here, you guys weren't counting, so let's uh, keep on going now. My favorite one, a pied one. Really, really pretty. Watch this enter. Pew. That one's gorgeous. You guys better be counting, I already forgot. I think this is 10 right here. I think this is 10? Yeah. Nice silver female. Nice one right there. Another silver. We got a lot of silvers. That's okay. Another one. That one's a male coming in. You can see that little bib right there. We got a pretty good mixture of sexes in here. That's, that's a plus. Nice female. I forget the color of what this is called. Maybe like a... No idea, I gotta look into that color type. And then we have one more male. So in the comments, let's see who's right. Oh, come here little guy. Try looking male right there, pretty cool looking. Clean those toes up, beautiful. And there we go, closes up. And we're set, let's do it. Chicks are the last ones that are in here. Just a couple little bantam chicks. They'll stay in there on their own, and the quails are going into the new home, so let's do it. A little bit of dried mealworms here, some pellet, some seeds, a game bird chow, all kinds of stuff. And we're just going to put a little bit right there, and then put a little bit right there. So this bowl's a little bit bigger. I think we have 15, so we're going to put probably one extra quail in here. So, uh, what, like eight and seven, you're saying? Something like that. I think that's worth thinking. So we're going to check it out, try to figure out the sexes right now, and then try to make a nice ratio so that, that there's a nice groups of breeding groups in here so uh let's do it so let's see what we're working with. we have silvers and whites um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep inside that's really light 
So this side right here, I'm going to keep it light. So I'm going to put all the whites in here and a silver male. So I have a silver male here. So let's put the silver male. Two silver males. Okay. Let's just see what we can do here. All right. So we don't have any fly outs. So definitely pied is going inside of this one. So, all right. One of my prettiest ones right here. So now we got to close the door and right there. Look at that. We got a pie right there. Gorgeous little pie. So now let's grab that silver male that I was telling you about. Right there. See that bib? He'll be singing up a storm. We'll put him in there so we can't open it too much. Keep it low. There you go. All right, so let's grab the two whites. Whites are definitely very hard to tell if it's male or not because they have bibs and the bibs are normally white. So you're only going to be able to tell if they're singing. Boop. There you go, little guys. Let's grab the other white. the white so that is see very very quick so we got four inside of here right now so now it should be a male and three females is what I'm thinking right now so now let's try to work onto the other side of the enclosure and start working with that so let's grab a dark male that try looking male this one right here that male it's try looking see him all different colors pretty cool looking so we're gonna close this up now and then drop him in there. There you go. And then let's get him a nice dark female. There's two dark females in here. This one definitely looks like a female. Nice female. So that's a pair. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They'll figure it out, but it's metal. So it's not like very, very hard. It's flimsy. That's good, but that's what they do. That's okay. All right, so grab a silver. It's a female right there. So that is, is that a female? Yeah, it's a female. So that's gonna be, sheesh. Calm down, you guys. So that's a 1.2 right now, and then a 1.3 over here. They're very skittish, they gotta figure it out. As you see, they're just sitting right there. But, actually they're not skittish. They're skittish, they'll be running and going crazy like how this side is. This side's a lot more calmer. And I want them to get used to me doing this. Walking by people around them and everything so that they don't spook out like my fish You could walk by the tanks and they don't freak out because they don't they're just used to us being around them So that's the one good thing about the animals here, and that's why I want to be with them here as well So we have a pair no a 1.2 in there. Let's grab another female It's simon 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 Um, That might be a male. I'm gonna keep him in there right now. I've got another female. So that's a female right there That's like a wild color simon I don't know if you guys can hear that. Calling up a storm. Okay, little guys. So now we have 1.3. 1.3, 1 1.3. So we got four and four right now, correct? 1.3, 1.3. Yeah, four and four. And how many more we have? We have a good amount still. Seven. So seven left. So let's add a male on both sides. Let's do that. So this side we have a, we have a silver male. Let's just add this side complete, very light color. So let's add another silver male over here. Okay, you guys, so that guy is a lot more skittish than this side, and they're both raised up together. Interesting. Very interesting. That's a female. So I guess we just add another female over here. Okay. And let's grab another male. Oh, you hear that? Calling. They make these little side noises. I love the noises they make. All right, silver male, silver male. I saw one in here. He's right here. He has to be this one. Nope. Guess not. All right, so we put this one over here. Hmm. There's no more darker males, is there? Did we add a male in here? No, we didn't, right? No. So there's all lights in here. One male. You see anything else? Here. Yeah, that's a male, but I, I want it to be lighter. I guess we'll just uh, throw that blue in there. It's okay. I have a little mix to it. Look at that bib. The bib? That's the bib I was talking about. Alright, here you go, buddy. These guys are not too bad compared to that. That side, they're freaking crazy. So over here, it should be a 2.5. Correct? 2.5. I forgot what's over here. Wow, you guys. Call this side just hates themselves. This side's freaking doing great. Oh, look, jumping in for food already. Perfect, jumped right in and out. Really happy about these closures. Really, really dope. Easy way to do it. 
and you guys can build the same exact thing at home you guys can check out the praying person that i bought these guys from. this side is just spazzing out so much crazier they're just calm collective eating already finding the food these guys are just freaking suicides all right nothing i can do it looks like we have one male and three females left so we have two males over here one male four females one male four females two males. two males so we're gonna add the other male over here and yeah so we definitely have to add this other male over here looks like a juvenile male you can see the small white bib starting to come in so he could be over here let's get him over here so I'm not sure, like again, it's just so many little quills are talking and stuff. I'm not sure we had 15 or 16 right now, but I think it's 16. So it's six, no, it's seven over here and seven over here right now. So we're just gonna separate them. We're gonna put a light over here and the dark over here. If I was wrong, let me know. But I think that's it. We, we got confused already. But we're gonna put this last synonym color or silver. Nice, beautiful female silver over here. They're gonna be calling. From both sides. Here. Oh, look, look. This one's like, where's my buddies? All right, dark little female right there. And drop her in. There we go. So, it should be 2.6 and 2.6. Perfect ratios right there. And we actually had three more males with Lexi over there that were here before we had these guys and four females, extra females, and we added them over there. So it's a 3.4 over there, 2.6, right? 2.6, pretty dope. Pretty happy with the enclosure. Look at them, they're living life. And uh, I guess we should get the approval of my mother. Let's see what she thinks about it. Let's do it. Come here, mother. <laughs> so look what I did. I'm, I'm, they're well, cute. They are cute. That is really cute. So I got like this looking, but I have to say this looks like a little bit of like a coffin situation. But yeah, it looks really cute though. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Yeah. But well, away, Dylan, I was like, Dylan okay. and I decided we were gonna probably paint these as well. So yeah. we'll take them out when we needed mm -hmm. to do that. We could paint it, take it out so there's not the fumes and everything, and yeah. make it a little cleaner looking. So the no, wood does actually nice. look cute. But I mean, it was a good way to use these cages. Yeah. They weren't getting used, and so each side has a 2.6. So two males, six females each side. This is like the light side, and this is the darker side. What? Okay, <laughs> that's a little weird, but so all right. We have mixed colors. Oh, okay. So that we can have lighters and things like that. People like oh, the so lighter ones and stuff. How do you know? You already know which ones are males? Yeah, the males are the ones with the bibs. See the bibs? The who? The bibs on them. They oh. have a bib. Little it looks warm. like a little mask kind of situation. Yeah, exactly. like a mask. Oh, a mask. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just in time. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> so yeah, the perfect little groups right here. They have, we use the, these things, we cut them off. We have food, water, bamboo, leaves, rocks, everything, all kinds of stuff. So that I think they'll be happy. They can hide inside here and lay eggs. Be dope. Yeah, little colors. I mean, I think it probably hatched on their own in here as well. They what? Remember when we used to hatch our own? They had to hatch the little babies. Yeah. I'm sure they could do that in here. You used to hatch babies? The mothers used like, to hatch the babies. You always had them in the incubator. I always did in the incubator. Always in the incubator. Bro. I guess I always used to incubator. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, but, incubator okay. all the time. But yeah, well maybe we can let them do, do their own thing in here. Some of them. Yeah. Try it out. Yeah, try That'd it. be pretty dope. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give this video a thumbs up. I think it was really, really dope. I think she's pretty impressed with it. Yeah. Just another enclosure for us, you know, to feed and stuff. But why not? It's the ranch. This is my life. This is what I like to do. We got rid of all the turtles from the uh, patio, and we have a couple parrots here. But um, we just came back to the patio, and uh, huh? Oh, and of course, right next to my bedroom. Yeah, I already said that. <laughs> yeah. My bedroom. <laughs> my dad and my mom were gonna be like, "What's that singing sound outside?" <laughs> But it's a nice smooth noise. It's amazing. But um, subscribe to the channel. We're about to hit 800,000 subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you guys, and I will see you guys later. Peace out, everyone. Oh.